Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT Effect channel and today we will talk about uh, managing of web applications of SharePoint through SharePoint Central administration. <coughs> For managing uh, web applications, uh, make sure you are the central administrator uh, of SharePoint and if you are the central administrator then you must be aware of uh, this interface that is the general interface of SharePoint central administration through where uh, through where uh, we can control all of the SharePoint application and their related services <coughs> so if we talk about uh, manage web applications for managing web application you have to go into application management and here you are seeing this interface that is web applications so for uh, web applications we will click on manage web applications and here are two web applications that have been created or we can say uh, the first one is the central administration that is created by default whenever you configure a SharePoint 2019 environment on premise <coughs> the second one we have configured it together if you remember and if you are a subscriber of my channel then you must be uh, aware of this thing that we created this web application together because we were creating a web application of our HLDF tech company this is my web application in which various site collections have been created this is the URL and we created different site collections and we also interact with these application site collections in our previous videos coming back to SharePoint central administration this was the website and if we select it and go into general settings here we can see different types of settings of uh, our web application from here you can specify the time zone of the web application if you have multiple web applications that are uh, created and in geographically different locations you can assign different type of time zones or if you are a central SharePoint administrator uh, and you are offering services to various companies that are uh, situated geographically at different countries then you can change or select the time zone as per the requirement so let's say I'm going to select this one okay the user settings provider is being offered by a user profile service that we created in our previous videos we can also define quotas here you must have familiarization with quota templates we uh, created we talked about quota templates in our previous videos similarly there are maximum number of alerts that a user can create you can change it to unlimited number or a maximum one similarly you can change your permissive or restrict file handling procedures security validation you have selected it to on by default it is on you can also change it and there are also many other things one important thing here is that if you want to change the uh, recycle bin uh, retention time you want to change it you want to increase it or decrease it then what you want to do you have to change it by default it's 30 days and if you are uh, changing it then you can change it here maximum upload size you can change the maximum of upload size of the web application by default it's 10 GB in SharePoint 2019 on-premise environment but you can change it ideally Microsoft recommends that uh, it must be 10 GB or below so as to reduce the right uh, 
latency on the database server or to optimize or to save the resources similarly you can enable the usage cookie settings etc on the general settings of web application similarly if we talk about manage features there are different types of features of web application you can manage them from this interface and if we talk about manage paths by default there are two manage paths here the first one is root and the other ones are sites for example if we talk about uh, this one this is the root up till here it's a root manage path and if we go into sites then you will notice the url that is a sites has been added so it's another uh, manage path here in this manage path there are site collections of uh, various departments that have been configured i can show you another one here you can see that sites is the manage path and in this manage path there is a final site collection i hope this thing is clear okay you can add multiple manage paths here as per your requirement okay if we talk about the service connections service connections are that if we go into the central administration and manage service applications you will notice that we have multiple uh, service applications that have been created and defined here so whatever the service applications are created they have to be connected to some web application and for that web application these services act a very important role you can uh, enable or disable the connection of these services with the with your required web application so these are the web applications if you notice that there is application discovery service there is a manage metadata service there is a search administration service there is a security token service application service there is a user profile service there is a visiographic service and similarly there is a usage application service so all of these services are have been linked here with this option that is man service connections so here you can see that all of these services are here if you want to exclude anyone uh, you have to change it you have to define your custom and you can change it as per your requirement i hope this part is clear now moving towards the next part that is authentication providers uh, the default zone is a claim based authentication provider that uh, at the time of creation of web application it is defined if you click on this zone you will see that there are multiple uh, options you can change your nt element to kerberos authentication as per your requirement you can also uh, enable the anon anonymous access that is required whenever you create sitemaps we also created sitemaps in our previous videos these uh, sitemaps increase the op uh, they optimize the search performance and these are the options of authentication providers for our web application similarly you can also uh, have a self service site creation you can enable the self service site creation in your website that will enable the users to create their own websites you require this features when you are using publishing uh, templates and if we talk about block file types these uh, are the types that will be blocked for this application for example you want to block some specific type of extensions to up to be uploaded or used in uh, this web application then you can define all of these web, uh, file extensions here similarly user permissions is a part of our web applications in which, in which we define the different type of user permissions 
and these permissions can further be divided into the permission levels that we talked about in our previous videos so the next one is web part security this is a web part connections these are some of the options that are enabled for example web part connection allow users to create connection between web parts similarly online web part gallery uh, allow users to access the online web part gallery and these are three options if you are a developer you must be familiarized or in, uh, you must interact with these uh, options so the next one is user policy so right now we have uh, three types of user policies defined here the first one is anti authority local service which has a full read access the second one and the third one are configured by search these are the crawl accounts and these accounts are uh, used while crawling your websites for search indexing <clears throat> we have talked about this feature in detail in our search service application related video that is already available in our channel so the next thing is anonymous policy anonymous access restrictions if you define all zones the anonymous user policy is none and if you can also change it to deny write or deny old okay and the last thing for uh, managing your web application is permission policy okay by default there are four types of permission policies that is full control full read deny re write or deny old you can add any type of permission level you can define any permission policy here and you can uh, define various criteria here and they can be further used in your site collections as an out of the box solution permission policies four are already created that are more commonly used so in this way these are all the uh, management and configuration points related to any web application if you are a sharepoint administration administrator so you must be uh, familiarized with all of these parts and uh, if you have any query any confusion or any question related to this points uh, feel free to leave it in the comment box so that i may help you to the best of my knowledge and guys also i request you to subscribe my channel and continue enjoying more videos of my channel i thank you all for watching this video